Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and I am playing Subnautica, and today there's a ton of updates I'd like to talk to you guys about. There's obviously a huge base update we're going to get to in a second, and then there's a couple cool little items that they've added just for, I think, flair, really, for Subnautica, so we're going to look at those. So, quite an episode for today. So the first thing I want to do is do this base thing. Now, if you remember... Um, I have my sub base down below there, and this is my main base, and over here on the right I actually had all my aquariums and all that kind of stuff going on. I've gotten rid of the aquariums, and the reason is is because one of the updates wiped out half my aquariums. They weren't really working too well, and you can kind of see the remnants of it hanging out here, and actually you can see my stalker Dave kind of flying around. He is, for some reason I can't make him happy, no matter how much people I feed him. Oh, there we go. Is that it? You're happy again? Oh, what a good boy. Okay, let's go in here. So like I said, I got a few issues with these hanging rocks and we'll fix that in a minute. But first, is he coming back to kill me now? Go away, okay. All right, let us put this down. So this is the new item. It's a room, it takes six titanium currently and you can basically put it, it looks like on the edge, yeah, here we go. On the edge of your base, right? Now I may need some reinforcements to keep my base from falling apart when I do this. Oh no, 2.8 hull strength. Okay, awesome. Um, so it's kind of hanging out in space there, which is what I actually wanted it to do. Let's see if we can... Is there anywhere that I can add... You know, this one right here, actually, let's take some of the windows out. We don't, this is going to become another part of the update that isn't actually in this version of the update, in this experimental build, but I think it will be soon is these tubes that are basically ladders. Instead of you having to use the actual base for it, you can actually use this tube thing that they're gonna have. So right now, I'll just take the glass from that because we don't need glass there. And that makes my base a little bit stronger. Now, the other thing that they've added, so one thing I haven't shown off yet is you can see that there's a, a door here. Well, the other thing you can do, and I wanna do it over here because essentially this is my moon pool side of the base. And I used to have aquariums this direction, but now it's going to be my observatory. So I've got the observatory here. What I'm going to do is put this other item, the bulkhead, right here. Because that is basically splitting this up, right? This is kind of my temporary storage. This is my moon pool area and power. In fact, uh, can we leave that? That's okay right there. I may have to move it a little bit to the right later, but it's fine. So let me show you this new room. I know you guys want to see this. So, finally, and how in the world did you get in here? Oh my god, and he's always oh, eating on me inside my base. Uh, oh, there he goes. I gave him a peeper. Is he happy? He's happy except for the fact that he can't get out of my base. There he goes. Okay. Dang. All right. <laughs> so yeah, so this is really cool. So the other thing that they've added is now we can also, in this is add these things like this bench and I think I can just put it anywhere yeah look at this so not a whole lot of use for it yet obviously it's just a bench just for for look and feel right um, but that's neat so they got that and then this is the cool part and I don't know let's just put it right here this is pretty awesome an aquarium <laughs> look at that now the question I have, and I don't know, of course I don't have a peeper with me. Um, I'd like to put a peeper in there. There's another creature outside. Let's go take a quick look if we can do this. Because I have not tried this yet. I wanted to save it for the episode. I believe some of my guys are still hanging out down here. Yeah, so like this guy, whoop, from my aquarium that I had going on, a little Reginald. And I think, is that it? Oh, I may have lost the other ones. We'll try the Reginald. Let's just go in here and do that. As long as our stalker Dave doesn't eat us up while we're in here. Let's see, can we put him in here? Oh, not yet. He'll float around the room, <laughs> but he won't go in the aquarium. Oh, maybe... It looks like it should go up there, right? Let's see, let's grab him again. Come here, Reginald. Uh, hmm. Nope, doesn't look like it. But anyway, it's neat to have an aquarium, and hopefully they'll add the ability to throw fish like this in there. And they can swim around. Unless I'm missing something, I don't think there's a way to put fish in there currently. Doesn't look like it. So, 
the other thing I wanted to do here, so we've got this cool looking base thing, right? What I want to do is actually put a few windows in. So let's go back here. It would be cool. This would become kind of like our observatory, right? Now, I think they're actually coming out with an actual... Oh my god, he went right through the window. Look at that. <laughs> um, I think they're actually coming out with a room that's called the observatory. But in the meantime, we're going to make our own. I have plenty of strength left of my base foundations. So we'll keep adding windows. Look at this. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. Alright, so now we've got 0.8 strength. So we need to put some reinforcements. Um, I'd really like to have both of these be windows as well. You know what we could do is do this kind of deal. I don't think I have enough titanium. Yeah, let's go get some more titanium. Let's see. Drink some water while we're at it. Is there some in here? Oh yeah, plenty of titanium. So let's see if we can actually do that. I'm not exactly sure if we can. Looks like we can. Boom. And then we'll put a window here. Oop, window. Can we not do that? Oh, it's not letting us. I wonder why. Anyway, that's pretty good though, right? Look at this. It's got a little bench. Got a whole view of the ocean. This will be really nice in areas, oh, like the Grand Reef, right? Where you can look at, actually have something to look at. Right now, all we can see is the kelp forest down there. It's still pretty nice, though. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Awesome. All right, so let's go back. So, okay, so the other thing are these bulkheads. You saw I put this bulkhead down. One of the cool things about it is that you can actually, can I, there we go. Um, if you open it, there's actually an animation, see, where he turns the nozzle and opens it up. Pretty cool. That's awesome. So, there's that. And I'm trying to think... Oh! The other thing I wanted to show you guys... So, we're kind of getting our base together. I'm really hoping that there's a moon pool update that we can then... And I always say that, and I hope there's a moon pool. Look at this, this is crazy. They need to fix this. I think... Let me see, can I do... Yeah, you can't... You can't do... Oh, I can do another room. Um, you can't do a hatch or a window or anything on the ceiling. It seems like it only works on the t on the on the walls, which makes sense, I guess. All right, let's go back out here. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, and maybe we should go grab the the sea moth. So yeah, this is a this is a huge update. Look at how much nicer it makes the bases look when you've when you've actually got a room instead of like these hamster tubes everywhere. I think I'm probably going to need to put one of these suckers up on the top as well. That would be pretty cool to have like a bird's eye view. In fact, why don't we do that? Why don't we keep building? That's what this is about. This is fun. Let's go in here and grab some glass. And grab some titanium. Enough to build what we need to build. And then actually let's go up the ladders. Let's do it that way. Up here. And I think this one doesn't even look like it's got reinforcements. Let's put some reinforcement here. And then another one there. These are going to become tubes, of course, in the future. But in the meantime, um, let's get rid of that. And there. And, of course, this random room. And that is not... There's not water in here because of this. There's water in here because it's at sea level. And they still have an issue with that. That's okay. Let's climb up. Okay, so this is the room at the, the top. I'm actually tempted, to tell you the truth, to remove... Let's go out here for a second. So, do I have my terraformer? Oh, I do. Okay, let's see, put it at four. I want to get rid of... Get rid of that. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. There we go. Um, now, one thing I could do is either leave these tubes the way they are, and maybe that's what I'll do. Let's get rid of this sucker. Deconstruct that. I want to see what it's like to have this thing up here. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's get out of the way. That could really not be good for our day if we're stuck inside of that thing after we build it. I'm not sure what happens, but... Um, oh, okay. Now, the only issue is that you can't put a hatch on it. Let's see, is there a good spot for a hatch over here? Ooh, let's climb over this. No, not on this side. Let's go back over here. I think we'll, instead of having this window, we'll put a hatch. That'll be cool. 
No, not a room. Hatch. Let's put a hatch right here. This is cool. Okay. So this way we can get out on the balcony if we want. And actually, I may even extend the balcony out now that we've got this massive room. Um, and let's go check this out. Cool. And you can't actually close the bulkhead doors yet. That's all right. All right, let's make some windows. We've got plenty of foundations. And I don't know why I couldn't make it in that corner. Maybe because the aquarium was actually in the way. That would make sense. Okay, let's do that. And that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have plenty of... And the foundations are pretty strong right now, so we are good. Oh, am I out of glass? Okay. Still, pretty awesome, right? I need to get... Let's go back down there. This bikeman plate is, like, all over the place here. I don't even think that bikeman plate, you can't even... It's not even in the crafting menu anymore. It's actually, I think, from a previous build that they got rid of it. Um, so I've left it up just for the fun of it. Ooh. Let's climb down. Climb, whoop, climb down. Okay. See, I'm going to love the, the new ladder system. Oh, man, I have issues all over the place. There we go. Get rid of that. Perfect. Let's keep going down. Climb down. And, jeez. Am I? What the heck? Oh, no. I went way too far, didn't I? What in the world? There we go. Totally lost in my own base. That is why I love these new base updates. Okay. We're going to gr grab some glass and some titanium. Let me look at this really quick. Aquarium, bench, sign, yep, everything I expected, room, bulkhead, yep, okay, cool, let's go back up, climb up, climb up, alright, climb up, okay, alright, let's put down the final glass windows, boom, and, oh, oh, see, it's almost like, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so I was actually able to get windows all in all of these. And let's do one more thing, just to add a little bit more flavor. Let's do, oh, where is it? Power, modules, oh, yeah, a bench. We're gonna put it right here. Oh, yeah. And for the fun of it, let's put another aquarium, why not? That's what the update is all about. Let's see, what's a good, this aquarium takes up a lot of space. Um, I feel like it kind of blocks the view, but um, we'll put it right here. Why not? Can always get rid of it and still see the view, and we can have little fish swimming around in there. Oh, this is awesome! Yeah, I'm 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 pretty excited about this. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I want to take a screenshot of this. Let's go out here, and I'm gonna do something um, just to just to get a picture. I'm gonna do free cam. You can see my body down there. Let's see. Can I? Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's get rid of that. Okay. That's really cool. Okay, let me let me come down. Whoop. That's a good shot right there, right? Look at that. Oh, let's back up just a little. Oh, very nice. Okay, that's my screenshot right there. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to our back to our body as you can see it standing there okay what I'm gonna do is for the last few minutes of this episode I'm gonna show you guys the Grand Reef so I'm gonna get in my Seamoth and start driving over there and I'm gonna cut the video so I will be right back okay I am back in the new Grand Reef area and for some reason and you can see I've got a <laughs> I've got my Seamoth there, I've got a Seamoth there, I've got a Seamoth down there somewhere. And all of them, for some reason, I think the one down there is actually down in the lava zone. I think that one's okay. But everywhere I go, my Seamoths seem to be having a lot of issues. And I think maybe they re-implemented the crush depth in the experimental build. So every Seamoth I make is now crushed, uh, which is unfortunate, actually. Um, but that's okay. So we're under here, and I have a Sea Glide, so we're good. Um, but this is the new Grand Reef. And the new Grand Reef, the only reason I wanted to show it is because I thought it was kind of interesting that they added new textures to it. So it used to be that there were diamond kind of structures and then these, these floating ball type things. Um, but the, the weird part of it is that they've added this texture and I swear, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me where, but for some reason this texture looks like familiar. 
Like maybe they created it themselves, but it also looks a lot like a texture I've seen before. So I'm trying to figure out which game it was from that I saw a texture like that, but um, it's probably just a coincidence and probably my imagination. So they've added that. They've added just a lot of texture to this Grand Reef area and a lot of areas that you can kind of explore. Little caves and stuff. Um, they've really just fleshed it out. It used to be pretty barren. So this is kind of the final zone that was here but not really textured and detailed. And it looks like they finally did that. I don't know if there's anything else aside from this like brown grass and this texture. Uh, but I thought it was interesting. There's some salt. Um, because we're so deep, I'm actually, and you notice my depth went away again. I don't know, I don't know what the story is on that. Um, but if you go here, let's see, let's do, do I have titanium on me? I think I do. Um, let's just put this sucker here. Let's put a hatch on it. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and what I could do, I don't know, oh yeah, it's got plenty of hull strength. Yeah, so now we have a base in the Grand Reef. Let's see, do, do I, what else do I have? Oh, I probably, you know what, I, I have enough titanium actually to do this. Uh, I wonder, let's see. It's funny how you don't have to build foundations all the time. I wonder, if I put this here, is this going to connect? Let's see. As a test. In the Grand Reef, we're going to have a little base. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go in here. And we're going to get rid of that. It's probably a bit. Oh, look at that. Lithium. Well, thank you. I'll take that. So let's put some windows here. I don't know how much. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of foundation strength. Oh, I don't have enough glass. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we got one window in this massive room. Oh, that's. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's that bug. Oh. <laughs> where you can fall. So, okay, let's walk around. So there's a bug where if you go. Currently, they've got an issue with this room where. I guess you can fall out of it. It happened with the sub, too. You can kind of walk around, never losing oxygen. Of course, you can't swim, either, because it thinks you're outside. Um, so I guess we could explore the Grand Reef by foot. <laughs> so I'll probably leave you guys here. I hope you enjoyed my look at all the awesome new base updates. I plan on making a bunch of stuff with the bases and working on it. And... I think a lot more components are going to be added. I've seen a bunch on their developer board. So we'll keep an eye on that. And, oh, look, there's some new grass. Very cool. Oh, and here's these things, these membrane trees. Very awesome. I think these, yeah, these eventually will be farmable as well. Anyway, I will leave you guys here. And if you like this episode, please tap that like button and leave a comment. And I will see you guys next time in Subnautica. Thanks for joining me.